So my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay. So good evening, distinguished speakers, virtual delegates. Thank you for giving me this honor and opportunity to be with you all. I'm here, Dil Se, Sanso Ke Liye, to give voice to World No Tobacco Day campaign, which aims to spread awareness about the risk of tobacco use and how we can make world tobacco free, thus achieving reduction in death and disease due to tobacco consumption. The single most important thing I want to share with you all today is the scale of human and economic tragedy that in tobacco imposes is shocking. The tobacco epidemic is becoming one of the biggest public health threats the world has ever faced, killing more than 8 million people a year around the world, which is like three times of total COVID deaths which happened uh, during the last three years. More than 7 million of these are because of direct tobacco use, while 1.2 million are a result of non-smokers being exposed to secondhand smoke. Have you ever wondered how tobacco industry has damaged the environment besides decreasing productivity and escalating cost of healthcare, leading to impoverishment and poverty? Have you ever wondered why tobacco users have doubled amongst women in last seven years? Have you ever wondered why only 4% of them attempt to quit tobacco and succeed and why tobacco is highly addictive and what is the happy chemical in tobacco? So uh, as my speakers earlier have told, the smokeless tobacco use or cigarette smoking produces nicotine, which is actually a carcinogen and it affects the DNA causing mutation and which in turn causes um, cancer. So I will be focusing more on uh, the diseases tobacco causes, especially cancer in women. So most of the uh, smoke women who smoke are at high risk to chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, heart attack and stroke, cancer of not only lung, larynx, oral cavity and esophagus colon, which have a direct effect because of smoke, but also indirectly, it causes breast cancer, cervical cancer, ovarian cancer. And uh, as already told by Dr. Sanjeev, uh, uh, NCD like chronic bronchitis, asthma, emphysema, COPD is also seen among women due to tobacco use. Diabetes and osteoporosis are also in the list. So focusing on women-centric cancer, the common cancers which happen because of tobacco use are breast cancer, cervical cancer, colorectal cancer, uterine cancer, and lung cancer. So if we talk of breast cancer, so the risk factors are like uh, females are at same risk as men. Age after 40, the risk increases. If a woman does not have children, the risk will go on increasing. Then 5 to 10 percent cases are hereditary, that is genetic cause uh, which causes cancer, early menarche, late menopause, not breastfeeding, and uh, being a primary or delivering at a first child at 35 years. All these cause are, are the risk factors which can cause breast cancer among women, even obesity, lack of exercise, eating lot of processed and fatty foods, using hormone for birth control and replacement therapy for menopause, exposure to radiation, all these factors can cause breast cancer. And uh, cervical cancer uh, usually manifests as uh, unusual vaginal bleeding, vaginal discharge, pain during sex, low back pain, leg swelling, constipation, and is again uh, a reason for, uh, tobacco is a reason for cervical cancer. Colorectal cancer, uh, the risk factors are bowel isn't empty, abdominal discomfort, fever, fatigue, loss of appetite, 
unexplained weight loss, diarrhea, constipation, blood in your stools. All these are the symptoms for colorectal cancer. And uh, we can not prevent not only by stopping al uh, alcohol, uh, adding fruits, vegetables, exercise, but most important is stopping smoking. Then uh, uterine cancer again is caused, uh, is manifest because of tobacco intake. So it manifests as heavy periods, pelvic lump, abdominal vagina, abnormal vaginal bleeding, change of bowel habits, difficulty in urination and pain during sexual intercourse. So these are some of the symptoms how uterine cancer manifests. And uh, lung cancer, which is a direct cancer because of tobacco intake, it manifests as persistent cough, repeated chest infections, clubbing of fingers, unexplained weight loss, breathlessness, chest or shoulder pain, unexplained tiredness, coughing up blood, change in long-term cough and hoarseness of voice. So, how to prevent these cancers? There are modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable risk factors. So for these cancers, age is non-modifiable. As one grows elder, the risk increases. Then genetically, if you have inherited the genes, mutated genes such as BRCA1 and BRCA2, they're at a very high risk of getting these cancers. So the modifiable risk factor triad includes weight balance, physical activity, and diet. Of course, inhibiting or stopping smoking and alcohol. So these factors, you can lose weight, control your diet, and with persistent physical activity, you can prevent cancer. Ma'am, so, can I just uh, pitch in? Ma'am, yes. uh, the slides are not being changed. Uh, Oh. It is in the first slide only. But uh, like I have been changing. Okay, so, okay. So ma'am, ma can you just stop sharing and again try once? Okay. Yes. Okay, I thought it's changing. Yes. Share. So can you see now? Yes, ma'am. I can see the screen. Can you go to the next slide, ma'am? So uh, should I do it uh, this way? This is better? Yes, yes, this is better. So we'll yes, do it sir. like this because, so <laughs> I'm sorry. But, it's okay, uh, no problem. Uh, so we'll just push forward. These are all the symptoms, colorectal cancer, uterine cancer, lung cancer. Then non-modifiable risk factors are age and genes. Modifiable are weight, diet, physical activity. You can see now, no? Yes, ma'am, we can. Okay. So now uh, I was here only. So primary prevention, how to uh, con con prevent these cancers from happening. So we have lots of research in this field and we have options of chemo prevention, behavioral change, prophylactic surgery and screening. So we'll talk about this because secondary prevention and all, uh, it's a part of management and we need not discuss it here. So chemo prevention, latest research says that use of drugs, vitamins or other agents uh, to try to reduce the risk or delay the development of recurrence of cancer. They include beta carotene, vitamin A and uh, aspirin for colorectal cancer has also been recommended. And uh, with behavior change, how you can prevent cancer is I talked about the triage of weight, diet, and physical activity. So if you are taking regular walks of 25 minutes in the morning and 25 in the evening, which might include yoga, meditation, so that increases your immunity and reduces the chance of cancer. Similarly, obesity. So weight management is very important. So if you have a good BMR, uh, body mass index, so then the chances are low. So diet plays a very important role in managing the weight and so is the physical activity. Other thing, uh, diet is a separate chapter. Some people have talked about it and I would like to suggest that 
reducing alcohol use not smoking will definitely help to prevent exposure to these uh, carcinogens and prevent cancer immunization against hepatitis b virus and human papilloma virus for cervical cancer can also protect and save lives sexual practices to be safe to avoid cancer genesis so cancer screening uh, just a list of mammogram which has to be done right starting from 35 years of age colorectal cancer screening lung cancer screening which includes ct mri pap smear which is the cheapest and best method for cervical cancer and then oral cancer screening technology is available and depending upon the age and history family history environmental history the frequency can be scheduled by your doctor so the cancer control continuum includes prevention like tobacco control diet physical activity alcohol uh, miss no no use chemo prevention to detection such as pap test mammography sigmoidoscopy then focusing on diagnosis by informed decision making finally treatment at the tertiary care centers and after care so world tobacco day and gender and tobacco have become important because i told you in last 7 years the number of tobacco users amongst women have doubled so as change makers and social influencers we are here to engage and empower our audience on quitting the widely abused substance which is not only addictive but lethal to life by lending voice to gender and tobacco campaign uh, uh, we need to set an exemplary paradigm by not accepting things we cannot change in fact we will pledge to change things we cannot accept the easy way out is never to start so try and encourage young people especially women around you to avoid the habit altogether and mobilize them to save the generation from a hazy future to conclude i would like to dedicate these few lines to the champions out there khud se jeetne ki zid hai hame khud se jeetne ki zid hai hame khud ko hi harana hai hame hum mein bheed nahi hai duniya ki humme ek zamana hai dhanyawad